Hey, what's up guys? Chef Billy Parisi here and buckle up because I'm making an amazing dessert today. We're going to be hooking up an apple galette recipe while making an almond crust. You know what you're going to put into this because it's homemade and it's absolutely delicious. If you're wondering what on earth a galette is, it's also known as a crostata and simply it's a pie crust rolled out with your fruit in the center, fold up the sides, boom, you got a galette. I know, super fancy. You call it a pie, it doesn't move, you call it a galette and it sells and you can't keep it on the shelf. I know, food is weird. Anyways, let's start by making an amazing almond crust. Add some of this almond flour to a food processor. It's perfect because it's super fine and gonna be amazing in this crust. Next, I've got some all-purpose flour, which is a wonderful all-around everyday flour. Now what you wanna do is add in a little bit of sugar Got some ice cold unsalted butter. We wanna pulse this on high until the butter becomes about the size of rice. At this point, I usually drizzle in some ice cold water that I put in the freezer and I pulse it again until it becomes a meal and you'll notice that pie dough is perfectly done when you see it. All right, now let's transfer that great looking pie dough over to a surface. We're gonna dust it with flour first Add the dough right down. I usually like to add a little bit more flour for the top and then using a rolling pin, roll it out until it's about an eight inch thick and about 18 inches in total diameter. Should be a pretty large circle. And then another great way to transfer dough once it's rolled out is starting at one end of the dough, simply roll it up over the pin all the way until the end until it's completely wrapped around the pin and I'm going to a cookie sheet tray that's lined with parchment paper. It's totally cool if the dough hangs over the side, it's not gonna break. Hit it in the refrigerator, we're just gonna keep it cool, let that butter solidify, and we're gonna come back down and slice our apples. Dough is chilling, now it's time for our apples. I like to use an assortment here. So the first apple I'm gonna slice up is a Gala apple. Next, I've got some Granny Smith apples. Last but not least, some Macintosh apples slice those thin, add them right to a bowl, and now we need to hook up some other ingredients in there. I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon juice, gonna add a nice tangy flavor and help keep the apples from browning. We're next gonna sprinkle in some sugar, followed up by adding in some ground cinnamon and gently using a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon, fold all of these ingredients together. You do not want these apples to break up, okay? So be gentle here. Once they are mixed together, let's go ahead and bring out that ice cold dough. And look, let's take a break here. I know I'm gonna get a little crazy here and I'm gonna fan out these apples. It's gonna look, you know, maybe a little bit too uh, intimidating, but I want you to know you don't have to do that. You can just dump all those delicious apples right to the center. You're gonna get the exact same flavor, but you wanna take it to another level, which you know I have serious problems with. I'm gonna fan out on the outside in the center of the dough, and then of course in the inside. It's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. And then I like to add a little bit of unsalted melted butter all over the top. It's gonna to bring some richness to this recipe. Finish it off by sprinkling on some sugar all over the top, on the crust, on the apples, just everywhere. Now, let's hit it to the oven on 375 degrees. Gonna take in between 30 and 40 minutes for it to cook, but this is great timing because now we can make some really quick caramel. So go over to a small pot, add in some light brown sugar. We're gonna pour in some heavy whipping cream. Last but not least, some butter. All you wanna do is cook this over low heat until it combines, it might do a light boil, boom, you're done. Set it to the side, and then it's time to check out our apple galette. Dude, the apple galette is done. It smells so good in here. I know I always say that, but seriously, I mean, it smells awesome. So what we're gonna do is simply add a slice to a plate. I've got some ice cream, you know I'm a sucker for ice cream. I'm gonna put some of that on top. I'm gonna finish it up with the homemade caramel we just made and boom, we're done. Let's try this out. Golly, does this look absolutely incredible. Like I said, it smells awesome. It's soaking with flavor. So let's go ahead and get into some of this and try it out.
Whoa, that is so good. The reason I like galettes is because ask yourself, what's the best part about a pie? It's of course the crust and this almond crust is amazing and perfectly complements those apples. I don't wanna talk anymore, I wanna eat this. I'll catch up with you later, come back next week. You know I'm gonna have a killer recipe for you. See y'all.